look here. I'm gonna do. I don't want to come back on here and go on my black coach rant again. I really do not want to have to do that because I've done it too many times in my life. I, I've, I've had to do it too many times. And, and I think one time is too much, but two times is way too much. Three times is going to be more than I want it to be. Maybe the text since I missed them or no, I didn't miss them, whatever. But if I see another retread, if Adam Gates gets another gaze from any team, and I don't hear about Marvin Lewis or Jim Caldwell getting another look, two coaches who have been to the playoff games, Jim Caldwell, a coach who made it to the Super Bowl and lost to Sean Payton. If I hear something about some Jeff Fisher, if I hear about some Jason Garrett, oh, I'm going to have a problem. Because these are two proven coaches who deserve a chance. And I hear about Joe Brady, who was my age, getting getting looks, the Rams' uh, defensive coordinator. Man, if Eric bien don't get a job, man, I'm calling shenanigans. Robert Salah don't get a job, I'm calling some shenanigans. There are a lot of coaches out there who deserve the opportunity to coach. I get if you want to bring in Urban Meyer from, from college because Urban Meyer has won national championships in multiple places. He's a proven winner. I got that. But if you're talking about bringing in some unproven guys, guys who haven't excuse me, coached at the top level in this league, guys who don't know what they're doing, I mean, if Anthony Lynn doesn't get another call, it's going to be a problem. Mike McCarthy got a call a lot about everything that he did in preparation for the job. Got it. Sucked and should get fired. Hell, his defensive coordinator got fired. Man, look here. If you don't give some of these black coaches the opportunity to be sorry, it's going to be a problem, man. The NFL has to get past this, but how do we get past it? Because the GM's going to hire their boys. The owners hire their boys to be GM. So guess what, man? We got to buy a team. Jika. Puff, we got to get y'all to break into this boys club, man, because we need some representation because it starts at the top. It's bad enough they didn't let us play quarterback for so long, but now they're letting us play quarterback, and you see what the quarterback is turning into. Deshaun Watson, Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, the best quarterbacks in the league look like us, and they play like us. So you mean to tell me we're not capable of being great coaches too? You said we couldn't play quarterback, and then once you finally let us do it, we became great at it. And the same thing will happen in the coaching ranks, but you can't use the bad coaches, the coaches that didn't work, because guess what? Nobody looks at Adam Gates and say white coaches don't work. So they do it to black coaches. And Dwayne Haskins, let me talk to you a little bit, Dwayne Haskins, before I go into my uh, quarterback carousel. <coughs> I hope you learn from your mistake, man. I really hope you learn from your mistake, because guess what? The burden of being a black quarterback in the NFL is much larger than the X's and O's. As the face of that franchise, you are the face of black quarterbacks as well. Because when you make mistakes, they go, see, that's why we can't, we can't, that's why we can't do that, man. We can't get, we can't, we can't use these black quarterbacks because they don't know how to play the position the way we want to play. They don't understand the 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 the, the, the responsibility that they have of being the face of the franchise. They don't. They don't. And here's why. Because they don't want us there. But we're so damn good, they got to deal with us. And that's why, man, I'm praying for Deshaun, man. I, I really am. 